Where was your antenna was when grandma was up in this house about to kill us? <laughs> and my goofy ass brother opening the door for a goat, right? I feel like something is watching me. It is I, it is I, the hidden hand, responsible for everything going on in Frumland. And I feel like something is watching me. You're watching me. <laughs> Welcome to the From Season 3, Episode 2 trailer breakdown and promo photos. Gonna go ahead and get into this today. Um, have you healed yet? We gotta keep it moving. I, I know we lost... Uh, Kenny's mom, but it's 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 time to keep it going. <laughs> we ready for episode two, going into uh, the funeral. This episode, uh, what's going on with Boyd? Uh, are the people going to start turning on him? Are they going to start asking questions? How are you still alive? Uh, those are the some of the things we can gather from uh, this next episode. But let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna pull things up. We're gonna start with the trailer first, and then. Um, I'm going to pull up the photos from Amazon. Let's get into it. You were the bird mother. Look at those things. How are you still alive? I'm going to find those things. I'm going to burn every last one of them. Victor is alive. The town I was telling you about, he's been stuck there all these years. Where did you get the lunchbox? This family is all we got, and now we've got what left. What was I supposed to do? We would have stolen. We would have found another way. All right, that was your trailer for episode two. I'm just going to scrub through a little bit, give my quick thoughts, start from the beginning. We got Boyd. Um, you see, even even Jay looking like, why are you still alive? <laughs> this is a look of distrust. <laughs> it was an ambush. <laughs> um, yeah, this is gonna be this part is gonna be the intriguing part. How are people gonna react to Boyd, uh, being alive while you know, uh, Miss Lewis? been slaughtered <laughs> to death um don't know if we're gonna see any remnants <laughs> of her let's let's just put the bag over her and keep it at that we we did enough with uh peeling the potato last episode but yeah i, I think the monsters even did more than just you know catch them lacking um they did more than that. They they set Boyd up. Uh, this was truly a monster play. They set Boyd up. Now they're going to have the town thinking, one of us. <laughs> Why is this man not dead? Right? B Boyd is the mole. I don't know. It, in a way, From Land has got this man doing the entity's bidding. <laughs> he, he, he got in uh chin up out of here uh he got these people um every every episode he wants to give a speech this, this will not break us <laughs> you don't break me right um so yeah he's he's out here giving the town hope that the force feeds off of right oh no boy <laughs> you you might be the uh the actual big bad of the the series and you don't even know. <laughs> oh, why are all these evil entities and spirits coming to you? We got Father Cadre last episode. Now he's suspect. Your your wife is appearing <laughs> before your eyes and all this stuff like that. I I don't know, boy. I don't I don't know if I trust boy. <laughs> all right. So Got that. Asking how are you alive? Okay. Uh, I assume this is after the funeral here. I got a couple photos for that. Um, so Kenny, last episode, let's go on the offensive. And that looked like that's what's about to happen here. You he wants to burn some monsters, go do some monster hunting. This is what I'm talking about. Let's go to the cave. Let's, let's just get a can of gasoline. And burn it, bitch. 
Um, so yeah, we got Kenny going on the offensive. So I, I like this right here. I don't want Kenny moping around and woe is me. Fuck all that, man. Let's let's go kill some monsters. That's how you get over your mother's death. How about that? All right. Um, smashing the music box. I assume some type of song is going to play here uh, that rubs Kenny the wrong way and he will smash the box. Tapta here at um, uh, Mr. Kavanaugh's house. Where'd you get the lunchbox? <laughs> um, so, yeah, she's going to be having to sit down with him. And my guess is he's not going to believe uh, the story at first, maybe. I, I don't know. Um, so like, it might take a little convincing, but it, it seems like he has, you know, the art in the basement uh, promo photos that, uh, that I'm about to pull up here in just a second. Um, anything else? Boy and White. Uh, Victor, where'd you get the lunchbox? <laughs> we got the funeral here. I'm pretty sure uh, some of the people that were uh, ransacking the basement uh, or wherever uh, Miss Lou was keeping the food at are in this picture. I can't identify right now, but um, don't pretend like you care. Don't pretend like you care, you know, but. We got uh, Boyd, Donna in the front, Kenny, Christy in the front, uh, Ellis, got Julie, Jim in the second row. Feel like Ethan's sleeping. <laughs> um, Tilly, pretending like she said, she's the mole, right? <laughs> um,. Ethan paying respects. We got Donna and boy, we, we all just duke it out. <laughs> y'all gonna be arguing after every episode. Y'all gonna be arguing. Just, just scrap it. Just scrap it out. Okay. <laughs> um. So I assume she's kind of, I guess, blaming him for you know whatever happened. Of course, the prior night. So, uh, we'll see how this conversation goes in the. Uh, next episode, of course. So, now that's pretty much the end of the trailer here. Okay, give me a second here and move on to these promo photos. Those, there we go. Yeah. Okay. First up, we got <laughs> uh Sarah. Hopefully, we'll see more of Sarah this episode. She showed up for like. Point five seconds, and <laughs> you know, took Julie and um, Ethan on the bus along with Randall. Um, is this the first time Christy has seen um, Sarah since you know uh, the events of season one? <laughs> uh, that felt so long ago because it was. So yeah, don't look like they're gonna have uh, kind words here. Looking very combative. <laughs> Chris, this haircut. We can't. <sighs> Can we get Chris to back to where she was? I I think they're going to rock with this, I guess. I don't know. But, um, yeah, she's looking like, uh, why are you here? <laughs> so, I'm assuming Sarah has our house back. Uh, since uh was Paula and Reggie, right? Since they're dead, so she has our house back. Uh so who got the last laugh, right? Um other than that, that's that's pretty much all I can get from this scene right here. Uh, of course some words are gonna be said. Uh the last time she saw her, she was asking, um what would you do to have Muriel back, right? So, uh, yeah, that's what we got there. All right, let's move to Tabitha and Victor's dad here. Just go through a couple photos. Uh, look like she's uh, admiring the feng shui. 
Um, you know, she's going to have a conversation with him. Uh, of course, um, I don't know if he's going to believe what she's, what she's going to tell him at first, obviously. And, um, you know, eventually we're going to lead down to the basement, see the paintings here. But now we have a clearer view of these pictures here, which we know has to be Eloise, right? Uh, and Ethan, uh, not Ethan, but uh, Victor as well. Shoot, got one right here. Them playing in the snow, and things of that nature. I still believe uh, Eloise is in the back pocket here, whether it's this season or next season. I don't know, but I don't think she's dead. Uh, so, of course, uh, going to get a conversation from there. Going to the basement here. Let's just look at some of these paintings here. Um, it's gotta be, it's gotta be from Eloise. Um, I, I get the feeling he hasn't been in Frumland before. Uh, so I think somehow Eloise came back. Hopefully we fill in the blanks here. Uh, let's look at a couple of these paintings here. I see in the background, it's kind of blurry, but you see that, that carousel that the boy in white um, was on. So were there a couple more kids that used to be in uh, from land? I see like one, two, three, four, five here. Or does that represent the Ankui kids? Uh, this looks like a painting of them right there. Uh, go to next here. Yep. On Kui kids, we got the boy in white as a uh, a man right here. Uh, look like we got a um, old time, very old <laughs> painting of another, you know, past character. So far, we've had the Civil War, and I think that's in here somewhere. I look through Civil War guy. Uh, got this painting so. This might show up. We got the uh, Asian demonic, maybe <laughs> helping Elgin out a figure that people still think is Fatima. I'm kind of off that train right now, but it, it's still open. We'll see. Uh, so, yeah, I think we're going to see more like historical figures uh, going on into this season here. Uh, we got, uh, some type of monster here eating the kids. <laughs> uh, looks like the drawing of the talisman there, that white in the middle. Some kind of ghoulish figure to the right of that. Got the tower at the bottom. So yeah, I'm, I'm thinking Eloise drew these pictures. And that kind of... That picture to the left, it doesn't look like Victor, but it it reminds me of the scene where Victor is like behind the pole and it's snowing. So I'm not sure who that is though. Uh, got the seven slabs on the left of that picture. So yeah, Julie's gonna have a conversation with Sarah here, as we can see. Uh, Sarah looking lonely. Nobody pr wants to talk to her. Right, she's the outcast. Um, even though she's on this redemption path, she she's gonna have that uh that scarlet letter, so to say. Uh, so yeah, it, it, it's gonna be a minute. It's gonna be a minute if anybody ever really just rocks for her like that again. Um, I don't know. Ethan might um uh, might befriend her again since you know she saved them in the last episode. So we'll see how that goes. Um, got Boyd and Ellis could be talking about the pregnancy. I'm assuming got Jim coming back in town and looks like they're going to have some type of, uh, conversation here. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. Look like they're definitely have an argument. Where was your antenna was when grandma was up in this house about to kill us <laughs> and my goofy ass brother opening the door for a goat, right? Um, so yeah, Julie's Julie's going through it. I want to know more about what she saw uh, when she was in a dungeon. 
I hope we expound more upon that uh, as the season progresses. Um, other than that, let's go ahead and go to some of more clear pictures. Funeral here. We get Kenny here. Uh, Jim. Ellis. <laughs> Why does he smile? <laughs> um, other than that, yeah. Julie being depressed. We shall see uh, how she copes with uh, being locked in the dungeon. But ah, I look terrible. <laughs> anyway, guys, that has been your um, episode two trailer talk uh, photos. Y'all tell me what you guys think. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get up out of here. But before I do that um, reaction, to episode one is up i just put up the review as well uh so y'all go check those out and of course i'll be back for episode two watch the community section i'm going to announce the next from watch party that's going to be in the discord uh last week didn't know when the show was actually going to air so that kind of threw me off but um i think i'm gonna go for midnight all right guys that's gonna do it for this from season three episode two uh promo and photo breakdown here uh if you guys haven't already make sure to slap that like button hit the subscribe button comment your theories down below sub up almost to 12k i think i'm like 13 14 away uh but anyway guys that's gonna do it for me peace out y'all